Hi, welcome to the EEV blog. I'm your host, Dave Jones, and this is episode number six. Now, I had a comment uh, on the uh, number five blog from a person called Brack, and he said, um, how about I name uh, some microchip devices that I really like, because I talked about the analog microchip devices before and how they're so good. Um, so that's a fair enough question. There's one uh, analog microchip part I've used recently, and that's the uh, TC1014. It's a low dropout uh, fixed voltage regulator, uh, low power. It's in a SOT235 package. Um, it's an industry standard pinout, so you can use it as a replacement for other uh, other parts on the market. And it's um, it's a really good part for a couple of reasons. The first one, and the real big one, is that it's a, it has a uh, voltage accuracy, a fixed voltage accuracy of 0.5%. Now, that's just remarkable for a standard linear voltage regulator, because um, most on the market are like, you know, 1.5% for a good one, 2%, you know, 3% for a pretty ordinary one. Um, to get sort of half percent accuracy, you've really had to go to sort of, you know, a band gap voltage reference. Um, so this part is is really accurate. It's fantastic. And the second thing is, is the price. It's only 30 cents in quantity. Uh, even on one-off quantities, it's as low as, I think, 40 cents. Um, which is, is, you know, is half to a third the cost of um, some of the pin compatible parts that you can actually replace with it. And, and it's just, it's incredible to get a half percent accuracy voltage regulator for 30 cents is, is amazing, really. And also it's, uh, its output voltage is stable over a range of ESR, cap, quite a large ESR uh, cap value range from I think about 0.1 ohms to uh, 5 ohms or thereabouts, which is quite good. So you only need a single one microfarad cap on the output, uh, one microfarad cap on the input, and it's a really low, uh, cost solution. And the parts available in um, a whole range of fixed voltages from 1.8 volts up to 5 volts. Uh, it's got a maximum output current of only 50 milliamps. Um, but that's useful for a whole range of stuff these days. You can, you can fly to the moon on 50 milliamps these days. Um, but there are alternative uh, parts available with 100 and 150 milliamp output rating too. So they're worth checking out if you need slightly larger load. And its other main feature is uh, its low power consumption. It's about 50 microamps at load, so it's it's really quite low power. And it's got a shutdown pin, of course. And being in a 5-pin SOT23, they're really small. You can use them as um, point loads in uh, for various solutions. And at 0.5%, it's really remarkable. So check it out, the TC1014 voltage regulator from Microchip. And of course, it's time for everyone's favourite part of the blog, equipment review time. This week, I've got another multimeter. This is the Meterman 37XR. And not only am I going to do a short review of this, but I'm also going to uh, tell you what's really bad about these cheap, really cheap, uh, low-end Chinese multimeters. Now, uh, you may or may not have heard of Meter Man, uh, they've been around for quite a long time and they've they've changed hands quite a few times. Um, at one stage they were merged with uh, Wavetech, um, who makes some really good gear, um, and then I'm not sure what happened, but they uh, I think they even ended up um, being owned by Fluke at one stage. Uh, but now they're um, owned by a company called Amprobe, and um, Amprobe are basically rebadging all the Meter Man stuff. Um, under their Amprobe name. Um, so you'll probably find, um, you know, I've had this one for quite some time, so you may not be able to actually buy a new one under the Meter Man name anymore, but the Amprobe is the same thing. Now, the basic specs uh, of the 37XR um, are 0.1% DC volts, that's one of the big selling points, um, and also it's uh, 10,000 count. So it's almost as good as a four and a half digit meter um, if you're measuring between 3,000 and 9999. 
It's got all the usual stuff these days. It's got capacitance test, it's got frequency, it's got duty cycle, it's got min max relative modes, it's auto ranging of course. Um, and it's um, but two, oh, not, not uh, unique features, but two fairly good features are that this one measures inductance um, and also has a logic probe function as well. Now, one of the things I always check before I'm buying a meter is does it have a good continuity test function? And that's important. It's got to have a real fast response. So let's check this one. I've got it on continuity mode here and I'll put it down on the bench and I'll probe and you can see that I touch them and it misses completely. But if I hold it down, it'll, if you can hear that, but I'll so as you can see, the response is quite slow. So this isn't a very good continuity mode. Uh, but it has a really nice bright display, which probably doesn't show up on here. It's got a uh, nice blue backlight. Um, the response is fairly quick. And um, it's, it's generally a uh, really good quality operational meter, apart from the aforementioned uh, continuity mode. And of course, um, as with most high-end meters, it's actually a true RMS AC measurement um, and it's Cat3 600 volt rated, so it can handle you know, fairly decent uh, mains, surges and things like that. It actually comes with a um, fairly nice uh, holster, which you can actually uh, take off, of course. Um, and it's got the probe attachments on the back, so you can wrap the probes around and put them there for carrying and they don't dangle around. It's got a fairly nice tilt-in bale. Um, it's not as nice as the fluke uh, bendable flexi ones, but it's still it's still quite usable. And it also comes with a um, a hanger which actually attaches to to here to this little pop-up thing, and it's actually got a really strong uh, permanent magnet on the end of it. So if you're using it out in the field, um, you can just slap the magnet against a, wall, a metal wall or a metal beam or something, and the multimeter will just hang there. I don't actually have it here, I seem to have misplaced it, but uh, yeah, the magnet's really powerful um, and it holds the meter and hangs it. That's a quite a useful addition. And more importantly, you can disable the auto power off, which is pretty essential in a multimeter, I think, because, um, you know, if, you, if you're taking a lot of bench, long-term bench readings, you don't want the damn thing to switch off on you. Okay, now let's take a look inside the removable battery compartment. You have to unscrew it. Um, but as you can see, there's a um, HRC fuse and they give you a spare one too and there's a location for a spare that's really handy when you're out in the field and, it, uh, and you blow the fuse. Okay, I've opened it up with the four screws. It came apart really easy. Now let's check out what's inside. There's a, uh, the big uh, 10, 15 amp HRC fuse is actually under the main cover. So if you want to replace that, you have to take the main uh, cover off but that's not a big deal they don't blow all that often um, looks like we have input protection uh, which you'd expect it's all SMD construction it's all very nice um, and uh, yeah there's two main LSI devices and there's some actually a uh, fair bit of discrete um, circuitry as well and it's it's just a really nice layout and uh, it's nicely machine assembled. I like it. It's um, a really nice internal construction. It should be really reliable and um, you get a lot of measurement confidence with this baby. Now there's one really really atrocious thing about this meter which I have to tell you about and it's the burden voltage. I mentioned this in an earlier blog. Uh, this has one of the worst on the market. It's 10 millivolts per milliamp burden voltage, that's an order of magnitude worse than a good one. Um, so yeah, and they've actually had to limit the uh, 400 milliamp range, or it should be 999 milliamps. They had to arbitrarily limit it to uh, 400 milliamps because of the shocking burden voltage. Um, but if you can live with that, it's a good meter. So the verdict on the Meterman 37XR, I give it the thumbs up. I use it on a daily basis and um, I've had this one for uh, probably more than a year and it hasn't given me any trouble at all. Um, they're very accurate and uh, they're quite stable and the build quality is really good and meter man are probably my uh, second preferred multimeter um, brand apart from Fluke of course. Um, so yeah, 
definitely thumbs up the Meter Man 37XR.